Hello. So this is a demonstration video for using liver of sulfur. So I use the liver of sulfur gel. It's a little easier to work with. Um, I have a preheat cup that has the parts in it right now. A dish, glass dish, for the treatment that the liver sulfur will go into. And then a rinse with baking soda. And over here, a big pitcher of steaming water. Not boiling, but very hot. So, we preheat the parts to get them nice and warm. This thing doesn't like to pour with the crap. So those get preheating. Then I'll pour some of that hot water into the baking soda for the rinse. Kind of give that a little stir to get that mixed up. And I also have a uh, copper rod for fishing the parts in and out of each liquid. Um, you don't want to put fingerprints on the copper because that could affect the finish. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then I'll pour about 12 ounces of water in the dish. And about a tablespoon of the liver of sulfur liquid. And I am doing this outside. It's very smelly. Um, has that rotten egg smell. And I just use a, uh, I kind of eyeball it with a uh, popsicle stick. But you should be getting a kind of dark gold, bronzy color in the water. You need a little bit more. There you go. <clears throat> Make sure it's completely dissolved. Take the parts out of the preheat bath. As you can see, they're copper colored. And you dip it in, and pretty much happens instantaneously. Swirl it around a little bit. I usually let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how many parts I'm doing. Grab the other part out here. doesn't take very long, but they're basically black after the treatment.
once you pull them out, kind of get as much liquid off as you can. Then they go right into the baking soda bath. So...